Hi, today I'm at the Health and Wellness Clinic in Belleville, New Jersey. I'm here because about six years ago, I had suffered a injury where I broke my collarbone. It took about eight months for the collarbone to heal. I broke it in three places and it was very painful, but even after the healing of the collarbone, I never was fully the same. I would have a very uh, difficult time lifting my arm. Even taking off a bra was very hard for me. I couldn't lift up my arm. I couldn't, I wasn't mobile. And then I went and tried lots of various different types of treatments. And I even went for pain injections. And the pain injections helped me temporarily, but I was warned that I couldn't have any more because if I did, I would do permanent damage to um, my uh, bone and I would cause scar tissue, which would hurt me further in the future. So today at the Health and Wellness Clinic, I'm here with nurse practitioner, um, Patricia. She's gonna do a lidocaine injection, which is a healthier injection to help reduce the pain. And she's here right now. She's gonna explain um, what a lidocaine injection is. And she's gonna go over step-by-step step as you watch her inject it into my arm. Thank you. So the purpose of today's injection is solely for pain uh, management. We use lidocaine, which is 100% no steroids and no narcotics. In uh, evidence, use of steroids in an injection is actually not recommended because the steroids long-term will eat away at healthy tissue. The lidocaine injection is 1%, which is about 90 to 95% water and about 5% uh, lidocaine. It will hydrate the area and the 1% lidocaine will give it a little bit of an aesthetic, enough to decrease pain. And we're able to range her and start the physical therapy process without her having pain. In the future, the other type of injections that would benefit this type of injury would be more of a restorative product and that would be uh, PRP, plasma rich protein, and or human cellular tissue. More healthy, homeopathic, so we want to fix function, and when we fix function, we decrease pain. That's our, our model, that's how we approach every patient, is using a healthier option and um, restorative medicine, or restorative products. So right now, I'm gonna have a little bit of jelly, I'm going to you and another thing that we use is ultrasound. Ultrasound helps us know we are exactly where we need to be versus other uh, practitioners that might just do landmarks. And really the evidence shows that's about 20% effective. Not every single person has the same landmark. Ultrasound makes it 95% effective, 95% accurate, okay? So little jelly. First thing we're doing is I'm surveying the landscape, as I call it. Stacy is sitting neutral and relaxed. I want you, yeah, just like that, good. And I'm just looking. I see your humorous, and then I'm gonna just quickly, just give me a little good range. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, that's okay, I'm just letting Relax, you know. yep. I just wanted to let you know that a lot of the pain, when they did my MRI not too long ago, they found two bulging discs in my neck. Okay. They found a herniated disc in my neck, and also they diagnosed my shoulder and arm with bursitis. Correct, okay. I'm looking here. Landmarks look good. Bicepital tendon looks intact, okay. Now, I'm just gonna bring this around. Okay, you can still relax. Okay. All right, yeah, good. Just keep it like that, yep. okay. I see your infraspinatus and those and supraspinatus. Those are the muscles, a part of your rotator cuff. I do get a lot of pain in that area where the rotator cuff is. That's where a lot of pain is. And usually after I lift my arm, probably I would say about four to five inches up is when the pain starts to 
increase and the higher I lift my arm up, the more pain I start to experience. And if you can freeze that for me, just bend and, yeah. And I just wanna show Stacy freeze it again. So if you look at the screen, this is your humeral head or your sh the bone. Mm -hmm. Right here is where the inflammation is. Bursa is space between muscles and it should be flat. When you have bursitis, mm -hmm. there's fluid and it's between those muscles. So then those muscles separate a little bit and that's why you're having pain. So right here, okay? Okay. I can see it. All right. So unfreeze. Um, and that's pretty much located in, in here. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Remember things are referred. So yeah. function can be here, but pain can be referred, right? right? Exactly. So I'd like for you just to shimmy and just for perfect, because I want to get the posterior a little bit. Okay. So right now I've looked at the anterior aspect. I looked at the lateral part and now I'm just going to go posterior. Same thing. Landmark. I see again. Nice. Okay. It doesn't look so bad. It really is inflammation of that bursa. Okay. So let's now um, we'll wipe sit back normally, we're gonna face each other. First injection is gonna go here, okay? The top injection just goes right below the skin. We're trying to hit where the clavicle and the acromion meets and get it from the top. And then we go posterior and hit it from there. Again, this is just lidocaine. This is just for pain relief. Um, it's not permanent. It will eventually um, wear off, but give her a little bit of relief so we can get into ranging that shoulder, some physical therapy, and prepping her body for the next step, which would be PRP injections and human cellular tissue. Let me get this. Right. This is iodine. This is just for sterile. Bring it back a little bit. And again, using ultrasound really gives you the accuracy you need so you know that you're getting where you need to be. So now I'll take a alcohol. do actually is actually I would mark it okay mm -hmm. because what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze I'm going to use a little bit of a freezing spray so hold on to that my dear I want you to look away so I don't squirt you okay good mm -hmm. we go in 90 degrees Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Middle pinch, one, two, three, good. And we're advancing, putting a little bit of the solution, good. And then a little bit more, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. Okay, good. We pull back to make sure we're not in any vasculature. And give me, good, a picture of that. Good, and then, and then we redraw, okay? That's one cc in that um, anterior aspect, okay? Hold on to that. Let's turn you a little bit. Okay. All right. Same thing. Give me a little more jelly, please. This one injection is really just underneath the skin. You locate your landmarks.
and it's a very tiny joint right there. There we go. All right. All right, ready? One, mm -hmm. two, three, and we go in. Good. And just a little bit and out. Yeah, you really don't feel the injection. It's just like no. a tiny little tension. That's it. We're going to now go back to posterior and get the rest of that lidocaine in there, okay? okay. How are you doing, my dear? I'm doing good. Good. Just going to do a little bit, uh, a little bit more jelly, please. Let's turn your... Yes, please. Okay. Now, yes. Are the lidocaine shots just good for the shoulder and arm, or they could be put in all different types? Lidocaine injections are good for any uh, part of the body that has a problem. They're good for joint capsules. We do a lot of trigger point injections, breaking up muscle spasms using lidocaine. And they're good for knee injections, wrist in any joint that has a problem. Get that back, that landmark. Right. I'll take the needle and an alcohol swab. Well, give me the alcohol swab first, please. Thank you. And then um, give me a little light, a little bit of... When does this start taking effect? In about a couple of minutes, we're going to arrange your arm and you should start feeling the numbing effects shortly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Little pinch, here we go. One, two, three, and in we go. Ready? And mm -hmm. good. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Good, we're right in there. You okay? I'm fine. I'm putting it all, almost all in there, okay? Okay. And we are done. Relax, and let's just start moving it slow. I feel tension, but I feel movement where I couldn't move, actually. Right. So, see form. how high she's get. Wow. wow. She did not do that I couldn't 10 do minutes ago. No. Okay. We're going to... Oh, good. Wow. The purpose of this injection, again, is to get her moving, okay? It's getting her ranging above and below what she could not do 10 minutes ago. This is just, again, a... a temporary type of fix just enough to get her moving that shoulder and getting her rehabbed then we will do the restorative injections in about a week or two i like to have patients have some physical therapy in them prepping the area when i go in it makes the condition or the real estate optimal and the only bleeding you have is here it's expected because it's right underneath. Right. The best ones are there. Okay, I'll give you a little bit of band-aid, and that's pretty much it. Thank you so much. You're absolutely welcome. Now, if anybody has any questions, can they maybe They can absolutely questions? reach us, reach me. I'm Patricia, the nurse practitioner at Health and Spine Wellness. They can reach, leave me a message, contact us through our multiple media outlets, Facebook, um, Instagram, I don't, yeah, and of course Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come now we're done. Now, let's really see how you're doing. No, I'm not really. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't do this before. Oh my god. Okay. Minimal. Very minimal. So yes, good. Because I only light. I only sprayed here. Mm -hmm. This one I'm in and out, and that one we're fine. So this is an added. I would say Layer. Should, a lot of people are afraid of needles. Yes. I see needles, but with this procedure that you just did on me, I barely felt anything. Good. It was and it was very quick. And yes. even when you injected it in my skin, it was it was less than a pinch, very minimal, and I it didn't hurt me at all. Wonderful. Good. All. Good. So we'll keep this here because. The pain was so intense, so bad, and 
you, you, you can't do anything. When you have pain, you're so limited on what you can do in life, and it, it can be really very frustrating because yes. it's a lot of the things in your, your daily lifestyle that you enjoyed doing at one point, you can't do it when you're in, in constant pain. And, and that's why here is our, is our model. Yeah. It really is. It's getting you back to the things you love.